All right, and we're recording. Um, so welcome back, everybody. I know that all one of you have watched this, but of course I just uploaded them like five minutes ago. So my legions of bots that subscribe to me have watched these. What? <laughs> oh, right. Okay. I forgot the PS3 just kind of brings brings you back to where you once were. Um, speaking of which, I'm going to have to open up my computer to figure out exactly what in the hell it is we're watching next. But, um, Abby, tell the folks at home a little some some little trivia while I do this here. Okay. Um, in this short, Shem Howard still has a really unnatural looking haircut. Well, he really does. He does. And that's kind of his signature thing is that he's the ugliest human being ever. The, <laughs> The Rift Tracks crew has a, they released a, a DVD of, of them hosting a bunch of Three Stooges shorts that's like the coolest thing ever. And they made, one of their, their sketches was they discussed how Shemp is the ugliest thing to exist ever, um, which is true and which is why we love him. But uh, anyways, go on. Okay, and uh, I've been told that there are some 15 minute long shorts. Uh, this one. They're not very short. And well, 15 minutes is totally a short. I mean, as compared to, you know... Well, as compared to your two-second long video. Yeah, as compared to fucking MTS files. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this uh, this one. Um, Okay, this actually is... I don't know what exactly this short is. I mean, I might as well roll it, since it's it's a bit long. I mean, it's a Three Stooges short with no edits made to it at all. Uh, Sega Sox Six Pants, which is, which is a, one of their funnier ones, in my opinion. This is a great, great one. I've freaking memorized every line of this, but, um, <laughs> you see, I upload this under the title, Sing That Song of Six Pants White Boy, and so that rocketed it up to my 15th most viewed video. Um, so YouTube, you have some weird ass tastes, like, I don't... I love that song. I, yeah, I don't even know what, I, I mean, I guess I kind of thought that it kind of has the same rhythm as the title of that, I guess. I don't know what I thought when I was making it, but, like... For some reason, uh, the YouTube community goes wild over this uh, title. So what do you think of that title, Abby? I think it's, it's, it's decent. You know, it's got a slight deception factor, but it still comes across it, as a message that is somewhat true. Yeah, it's got, it's, that's a common theme in my movies, is deception factors. But that's okay, that's why you guys love me, right? YouTube, you love me. Hickok loved me. Hickok sent me... Okay, YouTube community, eat this shit. Hickok sent me, Hickok45, the best channel on YouTube, sent me a private message today. So you guys can kiss my ass, because I'll bet you y'all don't even have a private message from Hickok. Except the ones that do. Except, yeah, actually probably quite a few do, but probably none of the, like, three people that are watching this. People watching this, why are you watching this? Like, that's my, that's my question, because you probably clicked on this because you were searching for Sing That Song of Six Pants White Boy and two results came up. Um, so what, what the hell is wrong with you? Leave me a comment telling me what's wrong with you, because I want to know why you're watching it. And, uh... Yeah, and it looks like the next short on the list is also a Three Stooges short. If you recall yesterday, I mentioned um, uh, the shitty Henry the Ache short with Burt Lear in it. That's, that's actually the very next one after this. So I repeat, my deceptively titled, uh, I, I don't know why you're searching for this search term video, got more views than the one I titled correctly, so... I love the sound effects in Three Stooges shorts. That, that's what sells it, you know. Poking, poking somebody in the eye and having it go boop. That's great. Be right back, Abby. Uh, down to the audience for a second. I don't know what I've signed myself up for, audience. It's going to be a long night. I 
don't think I've ever seen this show before, so my role is, uh... I've probably it posted to my channel 75 times, so I'm kind of amazed. But, uh, why, why are you saying it's going to be a long night? It can't be. This disc only holds, like, an hour at full capacity, and I don't have it at full capacity. You've got, like, two 15-minute shorts and then a bunch of videos that are, like, nine seconds long, so... Uh. I'm still a United Retained Oh man, Google. that is badass. What? Gigantic pancake. Isn't it though? <laughs> I want a pancake iron that's four feet long. Well, then you Could should be alive so in the bad. 1940s. That always looks like it's convincingly painful, but there's really no reason for it to be. But that, that's fine. And for those of you audience members that are wondering, because I know I have plenty of people wondering, uh, I got this particular uh, short also on the same exact DVD that I got that uh, one really stupid Knife of the Party thing that we watched the other day. So, if you're uh, looking for a copy, Three Stooges Collection, Hollywood Entertainment. Good good little, little set. Abby, what do you think, buddy? What made you pick these particular shorts to... They were in the public domain. Oh, some of them are? Yeah, um, you see, that, that's kind of a weird little, little history lesson I can give you all five people watching this. Which, by the way, if you're watching this, fucking stop watching this and watch this short without us babbling over it, because this is a really funny short and you're missing everything, because... You're listening to me be stupid instead. But, uh, yeah, um, the Three Stooges made right around 215-ish uh, short movies in their, their tenure between uh, 1930s and the 1970s is when they, they quit. Uh, but, yeah, out of those, uh, four of them, for reasons that I've never found a, a consistent explanation for, uh, they just never renewed the copyright for, um, so, yeah, most of them are, are not public domain. In fact, almost all, but... For some reason, and again, everyone has a different story as to why, uh, Disorder in the Court, Bride of the Screw, Malice in the Palace, and uh, Sing a Song of Six Pants are the uh, four that, for some reason, just aren't copyrighted. And, um, yeah, so when I got this big old DVD collection full of shit, I, I found those four because I knew they didn't have a copyright, and then ripped them to my computer, and then used uh, Mixsoft Mobile Media Converter to convert them into, like, seven, eight different file formats so I could just keep spamming YouTube with them under different names. And weirdly, uh, this one's name got it more views than when I named it, you know, the actual name of the short. Well, you've posted, you nasty spy, right? Uh, no, that, no, I have not, although I have seen other people doing it. No, I don't like being raped by uh, Columbia's copyright division, um. which... Maybe you just sent that to me at some point. I, well, I know I did, but um, yeah, I sent it to you, but I'm not the one to post it because if you post it, then you lose a, then you you lose your good standing because Columbia, you know, the copyright strikes. Like sometimes they don't give a shit; they just play ads over your videos, which I still don't like them doing. But like, if you post something that's blatantly copyrighted, like or just kind of fucking post an episode of Breaking Bad on YouTube or something, they would. Um, they, you lose your good standing, you can't upload videos longer in a certain amount of time, and, uh, and the shitty thing is that even if you dispute it because they're wrong, you still can't upload those videos for the two to three months that they allot the company to review your case, which is why, um, I've never posted Disorder in the Court and it's full, because if you post Disorder in the Court in full, Columbia still insists they own the copyright when I can find, like, ten sources saying that they can't, and of course you can't un- public domain something like once it's there it's there you know um so but if you post it then columbia pictures is like no -uh -uh, it's ours and then youtube's like yeah it's totally theirs and you can't upload anything longer than 10 minutes and so even when i submit a dispute and show like the freaking you know the archive.org transcript showing and proving it's public domain they're like eh, nah, 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 not gonna let you upload anything until we review it in october it's just like fuck you but uh, so Columbia's legal division, if you're listening, you don't own that one. You know this. You have to know this. That is a long shot.
church. Yeah, the forties were a better time. But uh, yeah, Abby, if you ever actually want to watch this, um, they're pretty funny. But uh, what 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 role did you have in the production of this fine film? I I just screenplay. Oh.